they almost forgot. To make the clubhouse appear, we get to say the magic words. Miska, Muska, Mickey Mouse. Say it with me. And I'm considered the biggest Narutard of all time. And I'm here to talk about a specific thing that I've been seeing last night and this morning on Twitter. Even like all day on Twitter, pretty much. And this has to do with Gear 5 and the whole Bonnie thing. So based on last night and then currently today, there's been so much slender for the most recent chapter in One Piece showing Bonnie going into Gear 5. Now, I understand that there's going to be like backlash towards it, people being upset because they don't like it and vice versa or whatever people opinion is about it because it's, it is kind of crazy but i mainly can be able to talk about the naruto and boruto fans talking about this i've been seeing so much hate being shot towards one piece and oda based on something that they don't like seeing i know that naruto fans like the clown one piece because i don't know for some reason one piece fans naruto fans just like clash heads all the time for some odd reason but for me as a naruto fan what i can say is that they're being hypocrites i keep seeing people call one piece a disney type of show that it has like a, the biggest like one of the biggest pulls in the, all of anime or one piece in general but that's genuinely not the case like whatsoever and i can get that some people are trolling but for it seems like on twitter and tiktok that's just not the case and i said it's not the case because in naruto there are moments where characters should have died or they shared a power that's completely normal even like an anime in general that's so normal to give an example of moments of this happening in naruto in the fourth ninja war naruto gave kcm2 to the konoha is it 13 or 12 like his friends that he grew up with they literally got kcm2 cloaks and they use their sengons when naruto died he got a power a huge power boost from hagoromo even learning baryon mode was still technically a pull if you ask me, because he could have used that fourth ninja war, but just didn't. But he wants to use it in Boruto and it gets convenient for him. This also happens with DMS Kakashi, him getting the dual Mangeko Sharingan and a Susano be from Obito. From Obito, which is literally like a, you know, exactly like, not exactly, but similar to like a Bonnie situation. They have the Hashirama cells with Donzo. You have Kabuto taking Uruchimaru's power, making his own. And then you got Madara taking the Hashirama cells and planting it in his body. I mean, like, there's multiple instances where power is being shared, or people are taking people's powers or replicating it somehow, in some way. That's not unnormal at all. Like, this is a staple in anime. I mean, it happens in multiple different shows. And spoiler warning for JJK, if you haven't seen JJK, this is a spoiler, so skip, like, 30 seconds. In JJK, Yuda quite literally took Gojo's body and nobody had a problem with that whatsoever. But because it's One Piece, there's a problem with that. Make it make sense. Because One Piece is currently at the top of manga or anime in general, it's beginning like a lot of hate recently, which is, I I tune into it because I find it funny. I don't take it seriously. There's generally people that take it seriously and wants to hate on One Piece just for doing what other animes or shows or mangas have been doing. And from what I know, based on my two lovely Discord community members, uh. Peak Peace and Ray, shout out to you guys. They gave me the context and the information of how she could even do that in the first place, which just was oncurring events before she even did it. Like it was hinted towards it. With Bonnie's Double Fruit power, she can literally copy somebody's like future self and then make it her own power temporarily. And this transformation, her going to Gear 5, was kind of hinted at for the past 10 chapters. Like she quite literally using her imagination to change her future body. That's like, that's, first of all, that's an insane power. And two, that's similar to Joy Boy. Just think about that. Freedom, free to imagine whatever you want to think and do it yourself and become it yourself. Like, do you not see the parallel between Luffy and Bonnie? Come on now. And apparently, according to Rey as well, she was able to use gear three in the past thinking of Nika. And whenever she saw Luffy use his gear five, that was her imagination of what Nika was. And she became gear five so i mean it's not outrageous on why she turned to gear five i know why people are too upset i guess it's because that was luffy's exclusive form and people don't want her to have that but i mean it's not like it wasn't like a bad way as in she just bam gear five out of nowhere at least there was context of, of it happening and you don't have to like this right i mean you're free to face your own opinion but for naruto fans to be saying oh, well this is trash this is the most disney transformation of all of all time i mean my guy there's stuff like that in Naruto as well. Even like in Dragon Ball, turning Super Saiyan God. Now that was a Disney transformation, but if people complain about that, no, because it's just Dragon Ball. When it comes to One Piece, I can admit that it gets so much hate, in which I know like 
kind of why because like it looks a little goofy that's like it but aside of that it does a lot of things like almost perfectly i don't think it deserves the hate that it's been getting like recently uh i think it's like a trend to hate one piece just like how it's a trend to hate boruto because that's a whole different discussion for another time but boruto is not even a bad manga as well i just don't know what's going on like generally I just, i'm just clueless but it has elements to it that makes it really good as well personally i think it's kind of dumb to hate on something that one just got introduced i don't know if the full chapters are out or not and then two there's more explaining that's going to be introduced into the story with this for sure but it hasn't come out yet and it's already being judged and calling oda trash and lover he just did something with it or like made it like significant give him the time and the chance to talk about more of this and go deeper into it before you jump into a conclusion and say oh this is just trash terrible this is the most disney thing i've ever seen relax bro and for those that are hating on oda for this uh go outside okay if you're hating on like fictional things that's kind of sad i'll be honest with you go outside touch some grass and then reconsider your life decisions, all right? Before I conclude the video, I'm gonna say to Naruto fans, the Boruto fans, and One Piece fans. Just because you don't like something doesn't mean it's bad. I didn't like the ending of Naruto Shippuden. Does that mean it's bad? No, because it made sense. Just because something you didn't like happened doesn't mean that it's bad. The ending of Naruto Shippuden, it made sense, right? How Madara died and how Kaguya got introduced. He got played while playing other people. That's just a cycle. Puppeteering. That doesn't mean it's bad. I just didn't like it. When it comes to Attack on Titan and the ending, how that concluded, people were hating on the ending because they didn't like the outcome. They just wanted Eren to win, but because he didn't, it was considered bad. But in reality, it was a really good ending. And the same with this whole Bonnie situation. There's context and all type of stuff that leads to this. But because she turns to you, one of your favorite transformations, which you don't deem her worthy of it, it's quote unquote bad. Even though it's good writing. Make it make sense, man. It makes no sense to hate on something just because you don't like it, even though it is good. And that's my TED Talk for the day. Um, I just want to talk about this real quick because uh, I've been seeing a lot of people talk and discuss it and hate on it. So, yeah. I'm Malik. If you like more videos like this, let me know in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel as well. We're getting close to 11,000, even though we just hit 10,000. That made no sense. But anyways, I'm Malik, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. I almost forgot. To make the clubhouse appear, we get to say the magic words. Miska, Muska, Mickey Mouse. Say it with me.